Belly fat isn't just about how you look. It's a serious health issue. There's the fat you can pinch, called subcutaneous fat. And then there's visceral fat, the kind that wraps around your organs. It's the latter that puts you at risk for things like heart disease, diabetes, and even cancer. But here's the thing. You can do something about it. It's not easy. But with the right understanding and approach, you can effectively reduce belly fat and improve your overall health. Let's break down how. Understanding belly fat. Belly fat. It's more than just a nuisance when you're trying to button up those jeans. It's actually a significant health concern. There are two types you need to know about. First, we have subcutaneous fat. That's the stuff right under your skin, the kind you can pinch, but then there's visceral fat. This is the fat that wraps around your organs and it's the more dangerous of the two. Visceral fat has been linked to a higher risk of heart disease, type two diabetes, and even certain cancers. It's normal to have some belly fat, but when it becomes excessive, that's when problems arise. So what's causing it? Well, it's a mix of factors, poor diet, lack of exercise, stress, and yes, genetics. But here's the good news. Even though genetics play a role, there's a lot you can control. And once you understand that, you can start to take real steps toward getting rid of it. The science behind fat loss. So how does your body actually lose fat? It's all about energy balance. At its core, fat loss comes down to one thing. Calories in versus calories out. If you eat more calories than your body needs, that excess energy gets stored as fat. But if you consume fewer calories than your body requires, your body will start tapping into those fat reserves for energy. That's when fat loss happens. Now there's this common myth that you can target fat loss in specific areas of your body, like doing endless crunches to burn off belly fat. But that's not how it works. You can't spot reduce fat. Instead, you have to focus on overall fat loss. And as your body burns fat, it will come from different areas, including your belly. Key strategies for destroying belly fat. Let's talk about how you can actually make this happen. First, there's nutrition. You don't need to jump on some trendy diet or cut out everything you love. What matters is making smart choices. Focus on eating nutrient-dense foods, lots of vegetables, fruits, lean proteins like chicken or tofu, and healthy fats from nuts, seeds, or fish. And be mindful of portion sizes. Eating too much, even of healthy food, can lead to fat gain. Next, there's intermittent fasting. This isn't some passing trend, it's a proven way to help manage your calorie intake. A popular method is the 16 to 8 approach, where you fast for 16 hours and eat during an 8 hour window. Research shows it can help with fat loss, improve blood sugar levels, and even boost liver health. Then of course, we have exercise. You need a combination of cardio and strength training. Cardio helps burn calories, but strength training is just as important. Building muscle increases your resting metabolic rate, which means you burn more calories even when you're not working out. Implementing long-term changes. Making changes stick is key. Start small, replace processed foods with whole foods, take daily walks or try fasting for a few days each week. The important thing is to be consistent and patient. Progress takes time, but the results will come. Focus on feeling healthier overall, not just on losing belly fat. More energy, better sleep, and feeling stronger are all signs that you're on the right path. Stay committed, and the fat loss will follow.